This is the Bravado Gauntlet SC. The year is 1970. The peace and love era has come to a close following the events at Altamont. And there's still a few years until the oil crisis makes American cars an absolute laughingstock. So pick yourself up a brand new Bravado Gauntlet. Fitted with Bravado's all-new, all-American, all-powerful cast iron 488 cubic inch V8, this baby can outrun every other street car in the quarter mile and drink more fuel than every car in Europe combined. A factory limited slip differential means you aren't just spinning one tire when you're plowing through that damn hippie campsite and the body built with pure American steel means you won't even see a dent when you ram that BF Surfer out of your way. So this is an awesome vehicle and I actually mentioned in one of my previous videos that the Bravado Gauntlet should be a vehicle that in some way, shape, or form gets a Benny's upgrade and whether it's a classic version like this or a more modern upgrade, this car is absolutely amazing. We're going to be checking out the customization, the liveries, and so much more on this absolute beautiful vehicle. So let's take this into the LSC and let's check it out right now. We actually have a lot of customization for this vehicle, which is pretty cool. And there's also some stuff we can do outside of the Los Santos Custom Shop as well. So let's start with bumpers. That's the first thing we're going to be able to do. For both the front and the rear, there are three options. Stock, classic and painted. Now I didn't love the painted option, but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more different than stock. So for both the front and the rear, I ended up going with the classic front bumper option, which I think looks really good on this vehicle. Now moving on, there is exhaust options. There's four of them, stock, double side exhaust, double rear exhaust, and then quad rear exhaust. I actually preferred the side exhaust over the rear, so I ended up keeping them on the side, and I really did like that. I think it gives a nice, unique muscle car look to this vehicle, which is pretty cool. Um, on the fenders, we have a couple different options as well. Stock, street splitter, and then the stock car splitter. I thought the street splitter was a little bit too much, but again, I wanted something more than the stock, so I ended up going with the stock car one, and I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, after that, we have grills. You have stock grill, mesh grill, sports grill, and then CUDA grill. So the CUDA one was the most colorful one. It added the primary color in there. I wanted to go for something a little bit more chrome, so I ended up going with the mesh grill, and I loved the logo that it added on the bottom right, too. I thought that was pretty cool. Following that, we have some hood options. Now, there's three of them, stock, shaker, and performance. Now, I didn't personally love either of these, so I just kept the stock hood option, but you might love one of them, and that's totally cool as well well. After that, we have the primary color and that's it. There's no secondary color, no trim or anything like that. So what I ended up doing was going with this bright orange and then I ended up adding a cream pearlescent, which added a nice little shine to it, which was pretty cool. After that, there's two spoiler options, a mid-level and a lip spoiler. I think the mid-level one was a little bit too much for me, so I ended up going with the lip spoiler one, and it actually is black by default, which goes quite nicely with sort of a bumblebee vibe, which you'll see a little bit later. And that's it. That's our final product right there, leaving the Los Santos Custom Shop. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a nice orangey-yellow color on this classic muscle car with that nice brown interior, and as you'll see in a little bit, all the customization options we do going forward look pretty awesome as well. Now, I mentioned there were a couple things you could not do in the Los Santos Custom Shop, and we're going to be looking at those right now. One of those are the headlight covers. So you can add uh, covers to the headlights if you want them to in uh, black or in the primary color, but I didn't want that, so I ended up not adding that to there. Uh, you can also upgrade some extra options. One of them is an aerial, basically an antenna that you can put on the back. I kind of liked it, so I ended up going with that. And then there is like a cup holder and a cigarette thing in the inside, but I ended up taking both of those away. Now after that, it's time for the liveries, and there are 12 livery options, which is really awesome. The first is classic side stripe, which makes the hood black, and it also adds this like, I don't even know what it is, like gradient stripe along the side. It looks really, really cool. And it also adds the Bravado logo on the back as well. Now it also adds some other parts of the car is black too, like the splitter at the bottom, the stock car one. So that's why I thought it was really cool that I'm kind of getting this Bumblebee vibe going on right now. But that's the first livery, pretty simple yet pretty awesome. After that, it is Bravado Special. Now Bravado Special is the, the exact same thing for the most part, except that stripe on the side now becomes red, orange, and yellow. There's also a bunch of other sponsorships that are added too, like Fukuru and Cool Hand, and the Bravado logo turns white. Now, I really like this one, but because my car was orange yellow by default, the stripes didn't look all that great, so I ended up not going with this one. After that, we have Hellhound Classic, which is really cool. It adds the Hellhound logo to the back, 
550-CUI on the back too. Also adds dual black stripes along the hood, the roof, and the hood of the car, which is pretty awesome. I think this one was my favorite, and I believe I ended up going with this one at the end. So the Hellhound Classic looks absolutely awesome on this vehicle. Following that, we have Bravado Racing number one. Again, the hood stays black. We get that white gradient stripe on the side. 49 written on the passenger and driver's side door with the United States flag towards the front. And again, this is just a beautiful, almost more of like a race car livery. We get the Atomic logo, Fly US on there. So pretty awesome nonetheless. Bravado Racing 1 is pretty cool. Bravado Racing 2 is really similar, except it's in black and it changes the number to 62 as compared to 49 which again, I think looks really awesome. I didn't love the fact that the 62 on the hood was white. That was kind of the only turnoff for me as far as this one goes. After that, we have Bravado Racing TA, which is kind of like a retro racing livery. The uh, roof actually becomes black. There is a wavy black stripe on the side with classic wax gauntlet and the number 77. This one was pretty awesome, but again, I just didn't love it as much as some of the other ones. It has some really cool sponsorships on there too, and it has Red Tiger Racing written on the roof, which is definitely one of the more unique things about this livery, so that's Bravado Racing TA. After that, we have Bravado Racing RTR, which is literally the exact same, except it changed my car to like this pea green. So I'm not exactly sure if it was supposed to do that or if it does something different, uh, I'm really not too sure, but it changed it to this wacky color. I wasn't really a big fan of it. Uh, after that, we have Cool Hand Racing. Now, Cool Hand Racing is awesome. So it adds like a half black finish to this car. The roof is black, really like the bottom half of the car is black. You have a six with a circle on there. Uh, you have hard stand. You have the Fly US sponsorships, Fukuru, Cool Hand. It's really cool. Atomic on there. It has a giant cool hand written on the back. I really, really liked this one. And I almost went with it at the end because it would have had a nice sort of bumblebee look to it as well. You'll kind of see what I end up going for at the very end. But this one is amazing. This is probably my second or third favorite livery on here. The next three, or I should say the next four, are all rusty liveries. This first one is called Beater, which it's exactly as it sounds. It just really adds sort of this rusty pattern over the car. It looks pretty cool if I was going for that vibe. Beater would be awesome, but I definitely wanted a, a cleaner look with this vehicle. After that, you have Classic Stripe Beater, which takes the first livery we looked at and just adds the kind of, you know, beater junkyard look to it. Again, it's pretty cool if you are going for that look. I wasn't, but again, it still looks pretty awesome. Hellhound Classic, again, the Hellhound livery, but it's got that beater rusty look on there. Out of all the beater ones, I think this one was my least favorite because I didn't like how dirty the stripes looked and dirty the back looked, but still pretty cool. And then the final one is Banger, and I'm not exactly too sure what the difference between the first one is. Maybe it's like a combination of all of them, or it's like the NASCAR livery, but it's got the rusty over finish on there. So again, those are pretty cool if that's something you like, but I wasn't a huge fan of the, you know, junkyard look. Now, this is the final product that I ended up going with. I went with the Hellhound Classic because I felt it went really well with the primary paint job I had on there. I love the black stripes, and I love how it made the uh, the stock car splitter on the bottom black as well, which turned out to be pretty cool. So yeah, this is my final product right here, a pretty epic and menacing muscle car in Grand Theft Auto V, the Bravado Gauntlet Classic. This one is just absolutely amazing, and the vehicle itself is incredibly cool. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of this vehicle, the Bravado Gauntlet Classic? If the Gauntlet was to get a Benny's or a retro upgrade, is this the sort of version you would like to see? Or would you like to see Rockstar maybe do something else and do a massively modified modern version of the Gauntlet? Either way, I think they'd be pretty cool. But this version of the Bravado Gauntlet Classic is absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, one of the coolest cars in GTA 5. As always, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comment section down below, though. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.